So, um, I'm going to show you something completely different to uh, no cards, no coins, no rubber bands, no little props or anything like that. Um, this is just something, I, I don't know if you know, I do the Rubik's Cube. Uh, have you seen me do that? Okay, have you heard about me doing it? Okay, well, I'm a bit obsessed with the Rubik's Cube. Um, and in fact, what I've got to, uh, to show you is what I use for practicing, okay? Now, you might think, wait a minute, all you need for practicing is a Rubik's Cube. But uh, these are a special, um, well, they're special cards you buy from uh, specialist shops, not those kinds too. <laughs> no, um, these are actually Rubik's Cube expert practice cards. Now, what the, you know, the, have you seen the guys who can do the cube in like 15 seconds? Yeah. Now, I can't do it that fast. Um, maybe one day. But here's how I practice. Instead of taking uh, a Rubik's Cube and solving it, so all the reds are on top and then all the blues and all the yellows, here's, ha here's how the experts do it. What they do is they use these cards, and this is the top of a Rubik's Cube. Okay? Now this is the same as if you got a real Rubik's Cube and didn't look and just mixed it up and then put it down. And what these um, speed cubers do, the people who are experts with a cube, they mix one up without looking and then whatever the top surface is, they try and replicate it on their regular cube. So instead of getting all reds, you know, it, they might get an orange, an orange, a yellow, a yellow, yellow, a blue and so on and so forth, okay? Now so that again they're not carrying loads of cubes around, they use these cards. Okay, so we're going to use these for slightly different reason, uh, slightly different test. I've got here a prediction. Now this prediction is a photograph. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Just hang on to that for now. I want you to, I've got about 20 cards. It's about 100. Uh, there is 100 cards in these decks. I've got about 20 or so here. Um, I want you to see that they're all different. Now, in order to see that they're all different, I'm not going to expect you to remember all nine colours, but we'll just look at this left edge or my, on my left here. Okay, so you can see it's blue, red, yellow, blue, yellow, red white, yellow, red, um, red, green, blue, white, red, white, blue, white, green, uh, red, green, yellow, uh, green, orange, blue, white, yellow, blue, blue, uh, blue, yellow, red, blue, orange, white, and so on and so forth. Every single one is completely different, okay? Uh, the cards are all different. Um, now, what I'm going to ask you to do is take these cards and give them a shuffle up. Now this is like mixing the cube up, okay? Any kind of mix you want. Now normally the cube would be mixed up, the cards are mixed up, so we don't know what we're going to end up with, okay? And when you finish shuffling them up, so, uh, you're completely satisfied, just put them down here. Sorry? Yep. Cool. Now, what we've ended up with, following your shuffle, is a random card, okay? Yeah? H had you shuffled one further, it would have been this. Had you shuffled one further than that, would have ended up on this one, and so on and so forth. But you didn't. You ended up with this one. Okay? Now, you're not going to believe this. There is one thing in here, and it's a photograph. And it's a photograph, if I can coax it out, of a Rubik's Cube. And the Rubik's Cube, and there's nothing else in here, have a look in the envelope. It's completely empty. Green, white, blue, green, white, blue, orange, white, green, orange, white, green, and blue, yellow, red. Clever. Nothing else on the other side, <laughs> just one. I don't know how it deserves a kiss. Oh, oh, you're goodness. looking like you're missing out. <laughs> oh, thank you.